Manish Tiwari's name is not in the list of star campaigners in Punjab. He's here with us. And the big question is, is Congress imploding? Uh, there are several camps within the Congress party. Senior leaders seem to be upset with the party high command. We have with us Man Manish Tiwari. Uh, sir, you are one of the strongest uh, faces as far as Congress party is concerned. Still, your name is not there as a star campaigner. You say you are not surprised and you would have been if it was otherwise. What does that really mean? It means what it says. As I said, I would have been pleasantly surprised if it would have been there. Uh, and I am not surprised if it is not there for the simple reason that uh, the, 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 the reasons for that are now in the public domain for a very long time. But in specific, why do you think are you upset with the party? Is it is it is it because we also seen there are camps? Yes, uh, we, in a day or so we've seen uh, Sunil Jhakar really come out. Uh, he was saying uh, the Punjabi Hindus are being uh, neglected. Is the is that a larger feeling since you are a prominent Hindu face as such? Uh, even though Punjab has never been known to uh, have have that kind of a thing of Jat Sikh or Punjabi Hindus, but now that we are going into the politics of things, it does seem it matters. Well, first of all, I'm not upset with anybody. I have been a congressman now for 40 years. My late father has sacrificed his life for the cause of Punjab, Punjabi and Punjabiyat. I come from a family where my mother was a Jatsik. The house where we are standing, it does not have Tiwari house written outside it. It has Guram house written outside it and Guram is a very typical Jatsik uh, surname. So there is no feeling of Hindu or not Sikh. Not even that you're not a star campaigner. Uh, there's, there's no feeling of Hindu or Sikh uh, in Punjab. If there would have been any feeling of Hindu or Sikh in Punjab, then I wouldn't have been the MP from Sri Anandpur Sahib where the Khalsa Panth was consecrated. Mohammed Sadiq wouldn't have been the MP from Farid Court, which, is, which has a lot of holy places associated with the Sikh faith. So therefore, anybody who tries to uh, divide Punjab in terms of Hindus and Sikhs, he is the biggest anti-national person, according to me, on the surface of this earth. Punjab has paid a very heavy price for this sectarian thought. But yes, uh, there are other reasons and those other reasons are in the public domain. We will talk about that after the 20th of February once the campaign is over. Today, uh, it is my responsibility to get those people into the assembly who had helped me to get into parliament. So I'm campaigning on a daily basis in my parliamentary constituency and I'll but continue. There are that. voices within the party which speak in different tones. Uh, if we can say there are different voices within the party, what does that really say? Uh, it seems that Congress is a divided house. Uh, just before polls, everybody seems to be speaking out. Well, that's a question you should ask those people uh, who are uh, charged with the remit of looking after the Congress party in the state. Or you should ask those people, you know, who unfortunately suffer from a form of verbal diarrhea and uh, articulate 24 into 7. Insofar as I'm concerned, I have told you very clearly that there is no Hindu Sikh issue in Punjab. Uh, the fact that my name is not there in the star campaigners list does not surprise me. You know, I can be a star campaigner in West Bengal in Assam. Maybe I can contribute much more there than a state. But the elections are than, in than, 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 than a state uh, from where I am a member of parliament and have been a union minister. But, Is that uh, not an irony, you know, in the sense of... Uh, well, in the sense, uh, as I said, uh, you know, certain actions are self-speaking and they do not require an articulation. And as I earlier said, you know, the reasons are very well known and they've been known for a very, very long now, time. Now, we're looking at the countdown to uh, Charanjit Singh Channi versus Navjot Singh Sidhu. What does your heart say? Who do you really support in this entire thing? Because obviously uh, views of workers as well as Congress leaders being taken on. I believe that uh, in a West Minister style democracy, it is the right of the MLAs to choose the Chief Minister. Unfortunately, we've created a strange hybrid in this country whereby we have converted the West Minister style democracy into a quasi-presidential uh, system, which I don't think is going to really augur well for India in the years... Is it going to augur well for Congress party? In, in the years ahead? You see, if you ask me, I think it's the MLAs who should choose the Chief Minister, the elected MLAs or the leader of the Congress Legislative Party, insofar as uh, who should 
be the face of the campaign that's the prerogative of the party they they can take a call on that but don't you think it's gone on for too long and it seems like a congress party is all about the power tussle rather than about being the people of punjab do you think this is something which is going to send mixed signals to the people uh, this is going to cause some sort of certain setback especially in a state uh, where there is anti incumbent well i continue to work for the people and so therefore my commitment is to the people of my constituency my commitment is to those uh, who helped me uh, to get into parliament who worked 24 into 7 uh, in so far as those who are engaged in some kind of a past struggle of fratricidal battle they can speak for themselves because uh, that makes me talk about navjot singh sidhu he's been talking about hitting at the congress high command sometimes talking about how things are going on and uh, obviously it looks like a power struggle uh do you think he's clutching onto the straws do you think this is not the signal especially at a time when the announcement is going to be made any time soon well uh, mr navjot sidhu is in the best position to speak for himself uh nobody can speak for him because he is in the best position to articulate what is there in his mind and uh, in so far as uh, i am concerned as i have earlier said you know i have spent 40 years in the congress party our uh, our family has shed blood for the unity and integrity of this country and i am not one of those you know who fights from one party and whose brother fights as an independent or i fight from one party and my son fights as an independent or i fight from one party and my brother fights from another party so therefore we are people who have uh, grown up in the congress culture and uh, yes there are issues but we will talk about it after the 20th of february one, one one last question in the clash of the titans uh, you know uh, many people were talking about and there was an input uh, that this could be a rotational cm we've seen that not taking place in chatisgarh there was a talk about it we've seen a model like that in jammu and kashmir do you think that is even possible it satisfies both sides well the word titan has uh, very very exalted connotations and so therefore uh, i think that phraseology does not lend itself to describing uh, clash of the sardars if you could well in the sense uh, i don't want to get into personalities uh, as i earlier said in my estimation the right to choose who should lead the legislative party is of the mls and uh, if the party decides to give a face to the campaign that's the prerogative of the party Thank you so much for speaking to us.